Okay, today I've got a Photoshop tutorial for you, and it's changing eye color. For beginners at this, I suggest getting a picture off the internet. Um, just for example, I got Haley Williams from Paramore, just because I could not think of what to type in. You want to, just because, you want to get it off the internet just because their pictures are normally more high quality, and stars usually don't have hair in their eyes or something, and that could get in the way of editing. So you want to get a picture where their eyes are fully exposed and there's not a lot of glare on them. It's okay if it does have some. So, um, I'm using Photoshop Elements. Um, I can't afford Photoshop. I've had, I've had a free trial of CS2, CS3, and CS4, and I'm pretty good with it, so you can trust me. It's just... I can't afford Photoshop, but my aunt moved in for a couple months, and she had a professional camera, and it came with Photoshop Elements, and she left it here when she got her own place. So, um, but basically, it'll do the same s basic stuff. So you want to zoom in on Photoshop CS2 and above. There's a little slider on the right hand, but for Elements, you have to get select the magnifying tool and zoom in. You want to get the eye nearly full screen, enough even if it's pixelated like this is. You don't want to see the. You want to get it so close to one eye that you can't see the other. So next, you want to make sure your colors are set to default. You could do that by clicking this little square down here. Okay, so you want to select a brush tool first of all. Okay. Now duplicate the layer just in case you screw up because beginners normally will and unlock the layers by double clicking them and selecting OK. So you have your brush tool. You want to set the size to her iris and if you don't know what an iris is, that's the colored part of the eye. Um, so you want to get it to the size of the iris like this. Okay, so I'm going to set her eyes to blue. So to do that, you want to go over here and select Colors Palette, and in my case, you're, I'm going to find blue. You can do any color, um, and you don't when you click in here to select the color. You don't want it all the way up against the right. You want to pull it out to the left and get it softer. So this looks good right here. You select OK. Now you select your background color find the same shade of whatever color you had and just set it way more off to the left than the last one it makes it lighter and softer so as you can see I have a more vivid blue and the softer blue okay so next you want to make sure your opacity up here is set to 75 and now you just draw over the colored part of their eye if you go out of the edges, it's okay. It's no big deal. If you get in their pupil, it uh, just make sure you don't get too much on the pupil or hit Control Z if you just absolutely can s screw up. Um, on a Mac, it's Command C. So next, right here, switch foreground and background colors, and then change your opacity to 45. and then draw over the parts that you'd colored earlier. Okay, so now if you zoom out, I wish I had Photoshop so I had the slider. If you zoom out, her eye color's been changed. As you can see, there's still stuff around the edges. You're just gonna have to go along with your brush tool and fix that, but that's pretty much it.